time for another Compton College Game Day! It's Game Day! What's good, Certified Gang? It's your boy K. Going on back with another video, back with another banger than Diddy, man. And it is time, like I said, for another Game Day. Welcome back to another Game Day vlog. If this is your first time watching me, I'm a football player at Compton College, a Juco out here in Compton, California. If you guys watched my last Game Day vlog, y'all know how that game went. Played very, very bad. Game was very, very bad. And for those of you who are in the comments talking crazy, talking about, oh my gosh, like this is that. Listen, it happens, man. Some of the best things come out of losing first. You feel me? Sometimes you can't always win first. In life, you're, in life, you're not going to win every single time. And I just got to post what's real. You feel me? So last game, yeah, it's last game. You feel me? We got to forget about it. But keep it in the back of our mind too, man. We cannot let what happened last week happen this week. Today's game day is way different than the last one because one, this is a home game. We're at home today, we're at Compton. So you feel me? I don't care what you say, man. When you play a home game, like it just feels a lot better because you kind of already know your field, you kind of already know your area, everything like that. So we're at home, you feel me? And we're facing Santa Monica College, man. Santa Monica College, man, I actually had a homie that used to go to Santa Monica College, so I've heard of them before. Um, we've been doing our film study. And, bro, it should be a good game. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't going to talk nothing crazy because we got to wait to the results. Also, the other thing that's different about this game is that it's a 6 o'clock game. So, it's a nighttime game. It'll be a fun little experience to be at home and to play at 6 p.m. So, it's going to be a little bit cooler as well, bro. Last game against Elac, bro, it was hot as hell, bro. Like, Hopefully, from this video, we get first-hand experience on what it's like to be a Juco football player out here in California, man. It's a different type of grind. But today's game day, man. So, I'm going to be locked in. And if you're watching right now, man, I'm pretty sure if you got a game, you got to be locked in too. So, I'm going to try to film as much. I'm going to try to show you as much. So, go ahead and smash that like button. Follow me on IG. Follow me on Twitter. Why not too? Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let's get right into the video, man. Game day, game day number two, week two. Let's bounce back from last week. Let's go. Now, every football player knows, you know, that first game, that first game of the season, you kind of got the jitters, you feel me? It's kind of nerve-wracking and everything like that. But once you kind of get that over with, you kind of feel like, all right, I can do this now. Now I know what it's like to play in a full game. Mind you, I haven't played in a full, especially even a collegiate game. I haven't played in a collegiate game in two years, bro. It's been two whole years. And for a lot of people, too, with corona and everything, it's been two years as well. So, after that first game, man, I'm feeling a lot better about this game. You guys tuned in the last game. Last game, I was starting that corner. You feel me? My natural spot. But this week, man, we've had some injuries and we've had some things moving around, man. And our coach wants to put the best 11 on the field. So, today... I'm going to be starting at nickel. Now, for those of you guys who may be younger and maybe not heard of a nickel, basically what a nickel is, bro, is basically like a hybrid linebacker DB. You feel me? It's basically like usually usually most coaching staffs that put people at nickel is people that is, one, aggressive, and two, can cover well. You feel me? Obviously, I'm not as big as a linebacker, but sometimes in some defense, it's really good to put a nickel there because, one, he can cover Two, he can tackle two. He's a lot faster than most usual linebackers. So it's kind of good to put somebody more athletic at that position. So today I will be starting at nickel. Take every single challenge head on, bro. When my coach told me, you know, he was changing my position at nickel this week, I was kind of like, dang, bro. Like, I was in the groove of starting at corner, but now I got to learn a whole new position and everything like that. And not necessarily saying that it's hard, but it's a whole different movement. You feel me? When you play in corner, you backpedaling and doing different things like that. When you playing nickel, you kind of like doing read steps and everything like a linebacker would. So I'm taking this challenge head on today, man. I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm going to just go out there and play my game, man. I believe in my abilities, and that's what we're going to do today. Just had to let y'all in on that a little bit. But uh, basically, I'm getting everything ready right now. Let me show you what I got. If you can't tell by the vibes, man, it's an all-blackout game today. Now, this is my girdle and whatnot, so that don't matter. But it's an all-blackout game, man. I got some Jordan sleeves right here. I got some... Next trend, leg sleeves right here. This is the orange sleeves. I got some battle gloves. I got some black cutters as well. They already in my bag, you feel me? So we're going to be dripped out today in the all black, man. All black, let's do a hit. I'm going to bring my laptop as well just because since we at home, you feel me? And you know I'm a student athlete. I have homework to do, so I might as well do some homework before, uh, you know, everything gets started, bro. I'm going to be at campus for a while, bro. I'm going to get there at like 1230. And I'm going to be there all the way till 9, bro. This is almost like an 8-hour shift, bro. So 
Um, we're going to... We're going to have a team meal. We're going to get our jersey and everything like that. All right, y'all, boys. So we done made it to the car. I got everything in my backpack, man. My pads and stuff is already, you know, in the locker room and everything like that. So I don't have to worry about it. Um, right now, I'm about to go get some gas. And I'm about to get some, like, drinks and stuff. You know, some electrolyte. Everything like that, man. I like to hydrate at my own pace before these games. But I just love that today's a home game, man. Our next two games are actually home games, bro. It just... I don't know what it is about a home game, bro. It just makes you feel, you know, a lot more. Like, stuff just seems like it runs a lot smoother. Like, you know, I have way more time to prepare. I kind of know what to expect. I know the area where I'm at and all of that. But, bro, I just wanted to remind y'all before we hit this road, man. Just, if you see me doing this, you can do it too, man. There's nothing about me that makes me any better than anybody else. You can do this too, man. And that's my main thing of posting things like this is to inspire y'all to chase your dreams, to keep going. Because if you would have told me a year ago I would still be playing college ball, not even that, just still have an opportunity to play college ball, I wouldn't have ever believed you, you feel me? So I just thank God for this opportunity. Football is such amazing sports, man. Sports in general is just amazing, man, because like I said earlier, man, every day in life we're always faced with adversity. And it's the same with football, man. Football is a life learning, life teaching lesson, bro. You got things you're going to have to deal with every week, you feel me? But anyways, I've done enough talking. Let's hit this road. Let's get some gas. Let's get some fuel in our body and hit that like button, man. Today is game number two. Like I always say, what you put in your body is going to be what shows on the field. So we got an apple here, you feel me? We got some electrolyte. Last time I had the strawberry kiwi flavor. Today we got the orange, you feel me? And then we got the huge water bottle. I'm going to drink this first. This is what I start off with. And then near game time, this is when I drink the electrolyte. You feel me? About that time, it's almost 11 o'clock. Um, we about to head to campus. Uh, everybody got to be there around like 1, 1.30. But I got to be there early because I got to pick up my jersey and everything like that. And it just helps, you know what I'm saying, to get extra footage and stuff. So we headed to campus right now. And just like that certified gang, we are here on campus, bro. I'm the first one here. Nobody else is really here. It's a couple cars. But I think I'm pretty much the first one here. Um, I'm going to wait in the car for a little bit and then I'm going to get out. Like I said, I got to get my jersey, man. We're going to be here for a while, so I'm, I'm going to get a lot for you guys. We got a team meal. We got a walkthrough, all of that, man. I'm going to try to fit all of that in one game day vlog. So, All right, y'all boys. We on campus, man. There it is, the field that you guys always see in the vids. But this is our first time actually playing a game here, you feel me? So we got our equipment manager. He's over there getting the field ready and everything like that, man. I'm hyped. Everybody sitting right here. We got some of my teammates over there right now. Uh, like I said, I'm waiting. I got to get my jersey. Some people already got their jerseys, but we wearing all black today. Blackout game. Look at Anthony Taller. I don't know if y'all can see him. Look at him. Big tall ass. Yeah. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> tall ass, man. Receiver. 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. But uh, yeah, man, we waiting, bro. This is what our home jerseys look like, y'all. A lot of y'all be in the comments talking talking stuff about our jerseys, bro. Sorry, they just jerseys cold. at the end of the day. You feel me? <laughs> oh, he, he done sold it and everything. Yeah, See? Man. But, like, y'all be talking about that Bishop Sycamore, all that, bro. It's a jersey, man. Hey, we yo, just trying to, we trying to get out of here, bro. We trying to get out of here, bro. But, yeah, man, that's the jersey. I just got to wait to get mine. See, I usually sold my stuff, too. But I can't, I can't because I couldn't get it. I want you guys to remember that, you know what I'm saying, football is a sport. Obviously, you got to be locked in. You got to be focused. But remember, man, football is fun, man. man. Remember when you was in the Little League and you ain't really, like, you ain't really think about it in a way to where you got to be all serious all the time. There's times to lock in and be serious, but have fun with this. You know what I'm saying? And that's the main thing that I want to, to have this year is fun with football, man. I don't want to always be down about I don't want to be down about stuff and everything like that. But I'm out to head to the field, man. They setting up the field right now. We're about to see what they're doing. Like I said, this is behind the scenes. It's good that we at home today. And there she is, man. Our field is beautiful. I can't lie, man. Our field is beautiful, man. There's the stands over there. We don't have like no away stands. Everybody sits together, but the way it sits, man, it just sits so perfectly. And then look at our turf, man. We got some good turf over here. Nice track. Some good turf over here, man. Scoreboard over there. No, we ain't got one of them scoreboards with the video jumbotron with the instant replay and none of that, but Hey man, this field is nice. Very, very, very nice. Like I said, they over there setting up the field and whatnot. All right, y'all boys, we in the locker room with it. It's some time later, and basically right now, uh, we in the locker room. Nothing crazy happening right now. I still gotta get my jersey. 
Uh, we still got a team meal, bro. It's some catering, all that. But we just chilling out right now. They got us cooking up the speaker, man, so we can get locked in. A lot of y'all was in the comments on the last video. I was like, there's no energy in the locker room. It's because we couldn't bring no speaker because we was uh, uh, awaiting. So. A little pregame meal for y'all boys, man. We got some chicken, and I don't know what's on top of that, but it smelled good. We got some pasta, some bananas, man. Shout out to the church that uh, brought us this food. I'm not sure what church it is, but I'm finna eat good, man. Appreciate y'all. Taped up, as y'all can see. Taped up, man. Got everything taped. Of course, I ain't feeling that. There's too much stuff going on, but I taped, and then now I'm about to have my, uh, now I'm about to get my jersey, and then after that, we finna uh, have a, a meeting, walk with now if you guys made it this far um in the video you guys aren't gonna be able to tell but it's a whole couple days later man i just woke up so i look really rough right now but you know i gotta finish this video out and for those of you who tuned in or those of you who looked up the score, uh, we lost. You know what I'm saying? But the score doesn't represent the whole game because, bro, at one point, this was a, a very close game, man. At halftime, Compton was up, you know, at half. We were up by one point, man. And this team didn't beat us because, you know, they necessarily got all the best athletes, the better athletes than us. It's just more of we beat ourselves, and you feel me? They were a better team. They were a better put together machine, you feel me? And we were kind of all over the place, man. And the fact that we were in this game, that's what makes it so frustrating, man. And, you know, I'm probably going to name this episode Growing Pains or something, man, because I didn't play my best game. And that's just me being honest and being accountable for my actions um, as a man, you feel me? As I told you guys earlier, I was playing in a new position um, that I was only basically taught in three days you feel me but that's no excuse um i didn't play to the best of my abilities i made mistakes i mean everybody did as a defense um man yeah man i mean today i'm gonna got practice again we got to go through a whole film session and i already know in film bro film is gonna be bad you feel me but y'all this is all part of growth you feel me this is all part of growth as a man as a football player it's all part of growth, man. It was it was a rough week. This one hurt more than the Elac, man, because Elac, you know, at one point, you know, they was going crazy. They was blowing us up. But at one point with the Santa Monica game, bro, it was a game, bro. And the fact is, we could have beat them. You know what I'm saying? We could have we could have beat Santa Monica. And I don't care what anybody say. I don't care what any of their players say. All of that, man. And at the end of the day, you know, I'm sorry if this blog I can you know film everything. It's because, bro, I'll be trying to lock in, man. Vlogging on game day is very hard to do. I don't care what you say, man. Especially when, you know, you took an L a week before and you're trying to win. And you're playing a whole new position. So it's, it's just hard sometimes to get these vlogs in. But I'm going to continue working, bro. That's the thing, bro. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying? You're on a team and it's not going well or things are, you know, feeling you playing a whole new position or whatever, bro. A lot of people would just fold up and quit and not take the challenge head on, but I look at everything as a challenge. And you gotta keep on pushing, you gotta keep on staying through, man. Even those times where you question, is this for you? Is this right for me? Is this, different things like that, bro. You gotta continue to, you gotta continue to push and you gotta continue. That being said, this is another start to the week. Uh, week two is over, man. Compton College is currently 0-2. I don't know none of the stats. I don't know my stat line or anything like that. I mean, I know I had some tackles and stuff, but honestly, I don't really care about the stat line. You know what I'm saying? This is a game that you don't really care about the film. You don't care about the stat line, man, because we we, we did ourselves a bad one, man. But anyways, man, we're going to continue grinding, going to continue pushing. You ain't going to ever see me stop. You know what I'm saying? So if you're watching me and I'm not stopping, that means you shouldn't stop. You feel me? Um... So with that being said, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow me on IG, and we out, dog.